AMD never misses an opportunity to miss an opportunity, and the world watches on with bated breath to see how they're going to ruin the upcoming Radeon 9070 launch. Hopes aren't high for the 9070, to be based on 4th gen RDNA architecture. What started life as a promising new start for AMD's graphics division has, in recent generations, fallen a bit flat, with rumours of chiplet based designs going nowhere. AMD's RDNA 1 architecture saw the goalposts moved by Nvidia's abrupt and unexpected move towards ray tracing, upscaling, and AI. RDNA 1 simply couldn't compete in these areas, remaining in the mid to high end and relying on raw performance to compete and to sell against Nvidia's unproven technologies. Based on RDNA 2, and now equipped with ray tracing support, the Radeon 6000 series put up a really good fight, matching Nvidia for performance and power consumption for the first time in many, many years. However, at least some of this was thanks to RDNA 2 using a superior node. It's very hard to say how much this helped AMD with this generation, but what we do know is that, come RDNA 3 and Nvidia's 4000 series, Nvidia were the ones on the superior node, and it helped Nvidia pull ahead of AMD again. This didn't ruin the Radeon 7000 series, but it fell marginally behind for power consumption, for ray tracing performance, for upscaling features, and so on. AMD also lacked a Halo card to compete with the top of the range RTX 4090. However, all this would still have been fine if AMD had chosen the right prices. However, their Radeon 7000 series launched at unimaginative prices, designed to upsell consumers to the higher end models, and likely to Nvidia counterparts instead. At the end of the day, people simply didn't deem all these little sacrifices worth whatever price discount AMD were offering, and so AMD fell behind Nvidia again. Which gets us up to where we are now, with AMD's upcoming RDNA 4 based Radeon 9070 cards having to go head to head against the RTX 5000 series. No high-end parts from AMD are expected this generation. This is, in many ways, like a return to RDNA 1, with this generation serving as but a mid-range stopgap while we wait for the real competition in the high-end to come in the form of AMD's next-generation UDNA architecture. It doesn't have to be that big a deal. Most people will not be getting a Halo product, and the Radeon 9070 cards, unless they severely underperform expectations, should still offer enough performance for the vast majority of gamers for the foreseeable future. The big question is whether they'll be sold for prices that make them appealing to buyers. This is generally where AMD falls down. And also in its marketing. AMD plays it way too safely, which is dangerous in my opinion. At CES at the very start of the year, we were expecting AMD to announce everything about their upcoming graphics cards, their prices and release date. But they didn't. Nvidia, on the other hand, revealed so much about their upcoming RTX 5000 series. I think AMD were waiting to see what Nvidia would do first, and then would react accordingly. Which sucks. But what sucks even more was when they didn't even do that. They went silent. And this allowed for rumours to spread about why this was. Maybe Nvidia's launch caught them off guard. Maybe AMD were expecting to be able to sell their Radeon 9070s at much higher prices than Nvidia's revealed pricing structure actually allowed. Don't get me wrong, I hate leaks and rumours, but AMD's silence gave them the floor and an air of credibility by being even worse at announcing their upcoming cards than normal. Not a good start, AMD. Then we started hearing rumours that the Radeon 9070 cards were already at retailers who expected the release date to be January the 23rd a whole week before Nvidia launched their cards, which would have been an excellent time to release them. A chance to get their products out first and to steal some of the thunder from Nvidia's cards, whilst offering a modern alternative for people who didn't have thousands of dollars to splash on a new graphics card. AMD themselves then did the stupidest thing possible by releasing an ad campaign on January the 23rd, claiming you could be gaming on the Radeon 9070 now. This proved several things. Firstly, it did confirm that at some point this was the official release date for the Radeon 9070. Secondly, this gave credibility to all the leaks and rumours about AMD being caught off guard by Nvidia. And lastly, it confirms that AMD's marketing division is at times so bad it would be better for them not to exist at all. So yeah, the 9070 does exist already and is sat about in shops ready to be sold. How infuriating! One particularly damaging rumour priced the Radeon 9070 cards at a whopping $750 and $900 for the XT model, vastly more than anybody was expecting mid-range offerings to cost. AMD did respond to this, saying that this was false, but again didn't give us anything else to go on, again leaving us all guessing and speculating. And now rumours are starting about their next-gen architecture, which we don't want to hear about, we want to hear about the upcoming RDNA 4 architecture. Not good. 
Rumours came out about a late March launch, then an announcement that the products would be announced in late February and released in early March. Some leaks put it at March the 6th. Not good enough, AMD. We've been waiting patiently for an excuse to wait more, but by then Nvidia will have their 5070 cards out for any impatient buyers to opt for instead, and by releasing last AMD will be on the back foot and forced to react to any price wars that that entails. And yet, despite all this, there is still hope. And it's good guy Nvidia who have helped AMD the most. Their strategy this generation has been to roll out the ultra high-end models in the form of the RTX 5090 series first, and then to gradually work down the stack. But with their second fastest card, the GeForce 5080, already looking mightily unimpressive compared to existing products from previous generations, it actually sets the stage for AMD to surprise everybody, themselves included, by actually having the Radeon 9070 series serve as a worthy mid to high end offering that exceeds everybody's expectations. If the 5080 is already struggling to get ahead of previous gen 80 tier cards, then maybe the upcoming 70 tier won't put up as much of a fight against the Radeon 9070 series as people expected, provided the Radeon 9070 series can beat their previous gen 7900 series in terms of performance. But even if performance is okay, there's still the small issue of feature set. AMD has long been reactionary, simply waiting for Nvidia to do something new and then to frantically scramble to offer an alternative, usually 18 months later and a little bit inferior. The latest thing like this has been DLSS, to which AMD's answer has been FSR, which has always been a step behind. And this is a problem, because Nvidia's range of DLSS features grows ever stronger every generation. The latest new features to be added are new frame gen options, which a lot of people don't like or care about, but the new transformer based AI upscaling models, everybody does care about, and it further pulls Nvidia's upscaling ahead of AMD's answer. But AMD are promising FSR 4, which should hopefully finally be as good as DLSS was before this latest upgrade. So still a step behind Nvidia and more than 18 months late and this new FSR 4 feature is only available to the upcoming Radeon 9070 cards, whereas Nvidia's new DLSS models are compatible with every RTX card from every generation. So is FSR 4 too little too late? Or will it be enough to make consumers happy enough to opt for AMD instead, provided the price is right? I'd normally say it boils down to price versus performance, but there is another thing to consider here, and that's availability. Nvidia's RTX 5000 cards are not being supplied in massive numbers, and that could be AMD's way in this generation. If they can provide enough 9070 cards in stock and available to be purchased, then they could potentially grow their market share after years and years of struggling to do so. Who knows, they could grow their current 12% market share all the way to 13%. Fingers crossed. I'll be honest, I sometimes wonder how AMD are supposed to compete when they release products like the Radeon 4080 and 6800 XT only for Nvidia's counterparts to still massively outsell them regardless of how competitive their offerings actually are. But with the RTX 5000 series value offering at an all time low, graphics card shortages everywhere, and with ray tracing finally being something you actually have to have to actually load some games like the new Indiana Jones one, a well priced Radeon 9070 could prove to be a mega hit, provided AMD doesn't use this opportunity to miss the opportunity again.